Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking magazine layout using Adobe InDesign. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to open up InDesign. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my web settings. I'm gonna choose the A4 preset. I'm gonna, um, maybe I'll put four pages, facing pages, and we'll start at page number two, skipping the title page. So I'm just gonna press create and here is my spread. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to work on the left-hand side of this page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the framing tool and I'm just going to draw a frame that goes from top to bottom, just like that. Now we need to curve this frame. So there are a few ways that we can do that. If we go to object uh, corner options and then change it to a rounded, um, you know, section, make sure you hit that preview button. And then if I just press okay, now you can see my uh, frame is curved. You can also do that up here as well. So if you change it to rounded and then you change your value up there. So now I want this a few times. So I'm just going to hold option or alt if you're on windows and duplicate this and drag it out five times just like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything and just make sure that it fits within my uh, section just there. So that's looking pretty cool. Now to change up the design, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the second column and I'm just going to maybe drag it down. So that's about halfway. Maybe if we go back up a little bit over here. So if I hold option and then uh, just duplicate that shape, so now it's all the way up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that that shape is over there. And then I'm gonna do the same for this one over here. So this time I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold option, put that in there, and then uh, just make sure that this uh, sits in there nicely. So now I've got this um, you know, cut over here and this cut over here. So that's looking pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to highlight all of that. And if we go to object, path, make compound path, now it's ready for our image. So now let's talk about the image. So I'm using Adobe Firefly to generate this image and all I searched up was a 3D winter wonderland with snow-capped mountains and clouds in the background with a fantasy kind of theme. This was the image that I chosen. I have already upscaled it. So please make sure you upscale it before downloading it. And then all I did is I downloaded it. The next uh, website that we're gonna have a look at is this website which is called Coolers. And this is really cool to extract color palettes from your image. So what's cool about this is like, if you actually wanna to move to, you know, any one of these images, you can, uh, you know, find whatever color is in this image and uh, yeah, you can uh, get this color scheme. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that and then I'm gonna put that into InDesign. Cool, so now I have my color palette over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to keep it just off my screen, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my image into here. So all I have to do is just drag it in. Cool, so there's my image and it's a little bit big at the moment. So what I can do is if I can right click on that, go to fitting and go fill frame proportionally. Now my image fits in there nicely. Now, if you wanna move the image around, you can click on this uh, button in the middle and then you can move it whichever way you want. So if you find another um, you know, way that the image is displayed and you like that, then you can move that around. So you can have a play around with that. The next thing that I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to add a stroke. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm clicking on my shapes over here. I'm gonna go to my stroke and I'm probably gonna put a stroke of like, let's say 12. Now the color, obviously black is no good, but I am gonna change it to white and there we have that. Now, the last thing that I did in here is I just added some cuts over here. So that's pretty easy to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to grab the uh, rectangle tool and I'm just going to make sure that I fill it with uh, white. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to rotate it 45 degrees and I'm just gonna put them at various points here. Now you can experiment around with the thickness and things like that. 
so you can get whatever look that you want just make sure that it doesn't go into each of the other sections over there so when you press w to preview now i've got those three lines there and that looks pretty cool so the final thing that i'm going to do in here is i'm just going to add a little bit of space at the bottom and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to have a sentence or so so once I have got that area ready to go, so just make sure that it all fits in there nicely. I'm going to grab the T tool and I'm just going to draw out that area in there. And I'm just going to right click and go fill with placeholder text. And I probably don't need that much text to be honest. So let's just uh, put it to there and put a full stop. And then I'm going to change it to my font that I'm using. So I'm using Montserrat and for this one I'm just going to use light and maybe we'll just even delete a little bit more text. All right so there we go. All I'm going to do is center align that and that's pretty much it for that section over there and there we have it. So that is pretty cool. Now we will move to the other side. So the other side is a bit more text, um, you know, based, I guess. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to have a area for our heading over here. And I'm just going to paste my text in. So the text that I'm using is Montserrat. The font is now the black version of this. And I just picked size 36. So now that I have that, I'm just going to move that um, text box just so it's like that. That's pretty cool. So now what we need to have is a subheading. So I'm just going to duplicate that and drag it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my subheading in there. So now I'm using semi bold and I've changed the font a little bit smaller just so it fits in there nicely as well. Now, once we have that, then I need a bit of a picture. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to grab the rectangular frame tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle that goes down all that way. I'm going to change it to a rounded edge and I'm just going to bump up that to let's say 100 and then I'm just going to move it until it's uh, flush with the edge of the document. So that's pretty cool. So now what I can do is I can drag my image in there. Cool. And again, same thing. If we go and if we click on that and go to uh, fitting and we'll go fit frame proportionally, we can put that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift and move this over and I can move it with my keys, to be honest, uh, left and right. And once you find a nice, uh, you know, section of the image, you can keep it as that. I'm also going to duplicate these three uh, little lines that I have over here and I'm going to put that in that section just like that. So now these images are behind. So if I click on them again and if I go to arrange and if I go to so bring to front, now you'll see all of these things are in there. So if you need to fix uh, any of these things up, you can. But when you press uh, W, you can see that um, you don't see any of the outlines, but you have to worry about this when you are actually putting your text boxes in there. So you want to get it as close uh, to that edge as possible. Cool. So now we need some text. All right. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw another text box. And so I'm going to put the text box maybe to about there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some text and I'm just going to change the font here. So I'll use Montserrat uh, Light, the same uh, font that I used down here. And this is also size 12. So once you have that, then if you go to um, fill with placeholder text, now you can put your um, text in there. So I'm just going to delete whatever I had at the start. Then while I'm here, I'm just going to highlight that first uh, letter and I'm just going to add a small little drop cap. So I think that's a nice um, kind of look. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this section of the heading over there. And now this time with this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color and I'm going to write a quote. 
So now that I have my little quote in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight it all, go to my fill, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press I for the eyedropper tool and I can choose any one of these uh, colors over here. So if I choose that color, there we go, now I have it like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a small little uh, line underneath that. So if I just grab the line tool and uh, just draw a line across, and if I just increase the stroke size, maybe something like six, it is already going to have that as the same color. Now, there are some you know funky options that you can do with uh, strokes uh, if you wanna change it to any of these things. For example, maybe something like that. Feel free to experiment, but whatever. Then the final thing that I'm going to do in here is to duplicate this text and put it down in here as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that text box, go to object, text frame options, and then I'm gonna change it to two columns. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to delete this uh, last word and just press full stop. And that's pretty much complete. So that's how we create a very simple magazine layout with a few different cuts and things like that inside of Adobe InDesign. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I will see you guys in the next video.